Welcome to THE 1000. Introduction to Theater with Eric Kraft. Your textbook for this course is the 10th edition of Robert Cohen's Theater. For this online course, the required textbook is absolutely necessary. Most of the academic content for the course will be coming from your text. I have set up the course so that you will not need the textbook until the lesson module entitled Chapter 1, What is Theater? and Chapter 2, What is a Play? However, it is a good idea to start reading and studying early. For those of you who are theater majors, this course may prove more rigorous than the practicum courses you have taken. For those of you who are taking this course as a general education requirement, you may find the materials both more creative and more elusive than what you have been accustomed to in other humanities courses. In many ways, theater is a total art form that embraces aspects of literature, music, dance, and the visual arts. The reach of theater certainly embraces all cultures. Indeed, in almost every place where you find the performing art of theater, it is deeply rooted in the spiritual and religious traditions of the culture. During the term, you will engage theater traditions from around the world from a variety of cultures and eras. What follows are a few examples. Lysistrata by Aristophanes is an old comedy from ancient Greece that still feels terribly progressive and modern with body humor and innuendo. In the play, the women of Greece, weary of the constant wars, go on a sex strike and barricade themselves in the Acropolis. Even though the men try to force their way in, eventually love wins out and peace breaks out. The Renaissance is represented by an Elizabethan comedy by William Shakespeare, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Mismatched lovers and mistaken identities are featured in a night of mad frolic spent in an enchanted woods where the magical pranks of fairy folk make matters even more hysterical. Moliere's comedy, Tartuffe, represents the royal era of theater. In this satirical piece, a hypocritical con artist, posing as a holy man, dupes the head of a wealthy family. His manipulations throw the whole household into an uproar as everyone tries to unmask the villain before he marries the young daughter, seduces the wife, and takes their fortune. The innovative epic theater of the 20th century is represented by Bertolt Brecht, Mother Courage. This play covers events spanning many years during the Hundred Years' War between Protestants and Catholics in Europe, in a large cast of archetypal characters representing the various classes in society, Mother Courage tries to survive the war by constantly changing sides and selling food and arms to whichever side is winning, in order to protect her own children and keep them out of the fighting. Using both musical numbers and satirical comedy, epic drama attempts to force the audience to think about social issues. Modern American realism is represented by Tennessee Williams' The Glass Menagerie. 
In what he calls a memory play, Williams recounts his days during the Great Depression with his overbearing mother and socially shy and mentally ill sister in a small apartment in St. Louis, and how the images of his sister and her gentleman caller who never comes still haunt him. Postmodern theater is represented by Mary Zimmerman's Metamorphosy, with its formless pastiche of ancient Greek legends centering on love and transformation, and the challenge of actors performing multiple roles in streams, showers, and pools of water. Because of state and federal regulations, the college has stringent policies concerning attendance and no-shows, especially in online courses. For this introductory lesson, make sure that you thoroughly read the syllabus, the welcome letter, and study this lecture. Merely logging into this course does not count towards attendance. You must complete activities by the deadline listed in the syllabus, or you will be withdrawn from the course. To avoid being withdrawn from the class as a no-show, you must log into the course by the deadline listed in the syllabus. Students who are withdrawn for lack of online attendance will not be reinstated under any circumstances. Upon entering the course, you need to read the syllabus and the welcome letter thoroughly. In addition, please watch and review the introductory lecture. Once you have reviewed the introductory lecture and read through the, both the syllabus and the welcome letter, you need to complete the introductory quiz with a minimum grade of 90%. 9 out of 10 questions. You may take this quiz as many times as necessary to achieve 90%. This quiz must be completed with a minimum grade of 90% before 11.50 p.m. of the deadline listed in the syllabus. Students who do not complete the introductory quiz with a minimum grade of 90% before the deadline will be withdrawn from the course for non-attendance. In addition, you must also post a response to the introductory discussion forum by 11.50 p.m. of the deadline. Failure to post in the introductory discussion forum by the deadline will result in being withdrawn from the course for non-attendance. To repeat, in order to remain enrolled in this course, you must do all three of the following. 1. Log into the course by 11.50 p.m. of the deadline. 2. Complete the introductory quiz with a minimum score of 9 out of 10 by 11.50 of the deadline. 3. Post response to the introductory discussion forum by 11.50 p.m. of the deadline. Failure to complete all of the three requirements will result in being listed as a no-show for the course and being withdrawn. Once you have been withdrawn, you will not be readmitted to the course.